Hey there guys, it's Metro and today we're back with another RPG Maker Pokemon editing tutorial. Again, talking about Pokemon RPG Maker XP's Pokemon Essentials. A very definitive project that has led to many Pokemon fan games over the years. And we're going to be doing some manipulation of said system to make a really cool change to the game. A change that's going to create a situation where you can completely randomize the withdrawal of Pokemon from the box. Something that I've been wanting to add to my own game that I've been making for quite a while. Something that I'd love to do, use as like a feature of playthroughs of other games, is completely randomize my team. Now what this is going to do is randomize the Pokemon that you withdraw from your box. Anything in the box is up for grabs and also anything on the team is up for grabs. It, it cannot, uh, you know, cannot differentiate between things that are in your box and on your team, I guess. But regardless, uh, anything that you own will be uh, randomized and then selected six of. Uh, this cannot catch Pokemon for you. This is not going to get Pokemon that you don't own in the game. And I think this is going to make a really fun little challenge uh, to potentially ways to make the game more interesting and all that. So anyway, uh, first I'm going to show you how it works. Well, actually, first I'm going to talk about the basics. All right. This is a very complicated tutorial and I'm going to have to gloss over some of the basics, but I'm going to try to explain the most basic of the basic. OK, so first things first, what you're seeing here, you know, behind this is Pokemon uh, it's Pokemon what's well, a Pokemon essentials in RPG maker XP okay so you're gonna need both of those there's gonna be links down below if you don't know where to get them but I really hope you understand what's happening here because if you don't this is gonna get a lot more confusing and it's gonna become uh, very you have to make very precise adjustments to this what we have here okay if you make even the smallest mistake then uh, this will not work not only will it not work but it will completely crash the game you won't be able to play it at all okay so if we follow the steps First, you know, the first thing we're going to do is set this up, we follow these one by one, then you'll know exactly what you're doing. So the first thing, obviously, you need to find RPG Maker XP. I think you have to pay for it. I'm not really sure. I haven't downloaded it or whatever, got it in a while. Um, so however you want to get it, get it. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, you, you, know, you can buy it, whatever. There's, I think there's a trial, something like that. However you want to do it. Now, the next thing you need is Pokemon Essentials. So you're going to make a copy. You're going to put this in a folder. All right. You're going to download Pokemon Essentials from the website that's in the description. Now, be warned. This is, I think, an older version of Essentials. I think this might be 16. Um, there's now 17.2, whatever. Um, and, you know, the games that we edit probably aren't all going to be using the same version of Essentials because they might be older versions of the game or older games in general. I don't really know. I'm not sure that matters, though. Okay, I'll show you that in a bit, but I don't know if that actually matters. All right. So anyway, step zero is going to culminate once you have RPG Maker installed and a copy of Pokemon Essentials on your desktop. All right. At that point, you will then get the files from the game, whatever game you want to uh, you want to edit. In our case, we're going to be doing Pokemon Reborn version 17, the latest version, and we're going to be editing these files creating a new Pokemon Reborn experience with this script enabled, okay? And you're gonna just simply do that by copy pasting these on top of this, okay? And creating uh, effectively a whole new copy of Pokemon Essentials. Now I have a master copy, which I always just make a copy of, uh, which is what we will do for this tutorial. Um, but regardless, this is effectively what it's gonna end up looking like. It's gonna have all the Pokemon Reborn stuff in here. Now, there's one key thing that you might not have, and that's the, the PBS. If you don't know what this is, it's effectively the skeleton of the game. If you don't have this, nothing in Pokemon Reborn is going to work, okay? You cannot do this without the PBS. This is something in the previous tutorials I've made that you could circumvent having not having the PBS for. But if you want to do what we're going to do now, you need to edit the scripts of the game, and that requires loading the PBS. If you don't have that, you won't be able to play it. So... Luckily, the PBS for you know some of the more popular games like Pokemon Rejuvenation and Pokemon Reborn, uh, those ones are created within the same community, and that community is pretty open about giving it stuff out. You can find that on the website. I think for Rejuve, it's on Jan, the creator of the game's uh, About page or something like that. And then I think um, Pokemon Reborn has the PBS on the... Um, the, the, the FAQ page or something, something like, I don't know. That's for you to find out. That should be easy. Uh, but other games like Pokemon Insurgents, the new, uh, whatever, Rising Phoenix, these are not going to be editable, uh, mostly because you don't have the PBS, but also because you don't have all of this either, okay? So you do need all of this. You need the data folder to be filled with all this stuff. If you don't have this in the data folder, you're not going to be able to edit the game, okay? Uh, I'm not really sure what the recourse is here. I don't, I don't, you're going to have to either contact the creator and get an, an, an uncompressed whatever, like, un, I don't know how to describe this, but regardless, you need all of these files. Everything in the game has to be in these folders for this to work because you have to edit them, all right? So, yeah, for, for that's step zero. If you don't have all this, we can't do this, okay? So 
think about what game you're editing. Make sure you have the necessary, you know, the PBS, you have the data folders, you have all the stuff that sometimes typically comes packed in with the download of the game. And if you can do that, then we can continue. Okay, so that's step zero. Now I'm going to show you how this works in game to better elucidate what we're going to be doing. And, uh, and hopefully that'll work out. But again, Pokemon Essentials, different versions, whatever, download whichever one you want. I'm not sure it matters. If it does matter, try to find out what version of Essentials the game you're editing worked on. I think, you know, 16 is probably a pretty good one, maybe 15. I don't know. Depends on how old the game is. You can look at the dates and then, you know, cross-examine the dates based on what game you're editing, etc. But regardless, here's what it's going to look like in game. I have six Pokemon. These are intentionally chosen Pokemon on my team from a playthrough that I did a couple months ago. Now, we're going to go to the PC. I'm just doing it through the debug menu, but any PC will do this, okay, as long as it's using the PC script. There's a script that is going to be edited that we'll do together, and it's going to launch the PC script, whatever. You're going to go to someone's PC, whatever, you know, your, your the, the Pokemon editing PC is, not the item one. You're going to open that, and there's going to now be a fourth option, okay? That's going to be randomized party. All right, we're going to be adding that. I'm going to show you how to add it, and you're going to do it. It's going to have your party randomized. You have randomized your party. Congratulations. And then you're going to go to your party, and you're going to see that we have six new Pokemon. And this is, again, only going to come from the box. Uh, it should work with any box. Any Pokemon you have in the box should be up for grabs 100% randomly. But again, it's also going to take into account what you have in your team. So if for some reason you only have six Pokemon, you're only going to get six Pokemon. I mean, if you have like 12 Pokemon, you have a 50% chance of having the exact same team that you had when you did the randomizer. So please keep that in mind. It's only going to randomize what you have available, not necessarily just in the box. So maybe that might be a problem for some people. But regardless, I guess you can just keep running it until maybe you get unique team. I don't know. However you want to do your playthrough. But just keep that in mind, okay? So anyway... Uh, so that's what it looks like in game okay so let's go ahead and close this now what i'm doing here this is a version of the game that i have not or that i have edited now we're going to look at a version of the game that i haven't edited and that is going to be uh, in this folder here whatever we don't really need to look at the folder but i've made a copy of the copy basically <laughs> and we're going to go from there okay so this is a fresh uh, version 19 pokemon reborn install or whatever you might call it and we're going to go to the script section. All right, so this is the first major step. You're going to go to the script section, which is up here. Hopefully, uh, you can't actually see it on the screen. But anyway, let's uh, minimize this. So anyway, um, it's the script section up here. Hopefully, everybody knows where this is. Pretty obvious. Uh, you just go here, and it's going to open the game. Now, uh, this is all going to look different depending on what game you're playing. It might have some different types of breaks. might have, you know, the, the organization of it as such might be different. But luckily, with the cool feature, we don't need to necessarily worry about how it's organized because we're going to be able to search for everything that is contained within it. Okay, We're going to do that by uh, doing Control-Shift-F. Now, first of all, if you do just Control-F, it's going to bring up the Find menu uh, like normal. But you do not want to do that because that's only going to find things within this script set. Okay, So instead, we're going to search all of them. And as you see, Find in All Sections. Then you're going to go down in the description below and copy what I have there for the first uh, the first step, the first major step. And you're going to type, you're going to copy paste that in. And then you're going to hit start search. Okay, it's going to come up with two results, hopefully. I, I haven't really played a game where it doesn't come up with two results. But we're always looking for the uh, latter result, the, the result that is further down the script, the higher number. Okay, and you're going to see why. I'll show you the one that is not higher up. We're going to see uh, PC item storage. Okay, so that's obviously not what we're after. We don't want that. Um, that is not uh, within the scope of this tutorial. So again, we'll search for it, whatever. Oh, yeah, there you go. Search for it and find the one that is lighter down. You'll be able to tell it's the PC one, uh, the, the Pokemon item one, because um, PC storage, whatever, Pokemon storage system was open, etc. So, So what we're going to be doing, uh, these four here are the current menu options that I showed you before, as you might have noticed. And then we're going to add a fifth one, uh, but that is going to be before... Um, the SIA, okay, which is effectively it doesn't do anything. And then again, we're going to add something down here. And this is going to describe the thing that we're going to add up here. So again, in the description, you're going to copy what I have. Uh, you're going to be adding the randomized party one to this one here, okay? And then you're going to be adding the get a randomized party from your boxes. And again, this is just text to describe what's happening here to make the, uh, the menu appear and facilitate what we're doing. Then we're going to go down immediately down here. It's basically just one line below this. If for some reason you need to uh, search it, you can. And I'll show you that uh, it is it should be the only thing that you can actually find uh, if you search it. Okay, It's the only thing I, I, I assume in every game. I don't know. Maybe there's some way that it's not. But I think it should always be immediately uh, after this stuff here. 
and then it'll be uh, it'll say this okay so now what we're going to do again down in the description you're going to copy and paste uh, and delete this here so we're effectively going to get rid of all this okay from break to if very important if you do not do this right from this top if from you know with re with reference to where we are currently with this top if and this bottom break if you do not delete this and you mess up you get an end here or something else here you're going to crash the game will crash and you will be it will be irreparable all right you'll have to have start start over okay so anyway go ahead and get uh, what we have in the description below uh, make sure it looks as it does in the description exactly the formatting is important and you will do this okay very good so now we have it and that's that that is uh, now created a third option all right and as you see it here command number three randomize now um so basically i, I didn't make this first of all the guy who made it uh, full credit to him nixify he's actually a viewer on the uh, one legion tv channel that I, I spend a lot of time uploading to now he um he made it and he created this whatever this is uh pokemon storage dot select pokemon for randomized team whatever so this is like this is the script that it's going to create, I guess. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows more about this than I. I. I don't know anything about this, frankly. I'm just teaching you guys how to do it. But regardless, this is a new addition to uh, Pokemon Essentials from what I can tell. And it is going to uh, completely uh, create a new script. And that script is what we are going to modify uh, earlier in the file. Okay. So once you've done this, uh, you know, again, if it looks exactly like this, you've succeeded. Um, try to avoid looking at these lines. Just do as I did because it's probably going to be different for every game you try to modify. But if you are trying to modify Pokemon Reborn version 17, then it should work. But again, it shouldn't matter at all. As long as you can find this, you know, this is what we had copied down below and you add, add these things, it should always work. Okay, very good. So let's move on. So now the final major step here is going to be adding this big script block that we're going to be having down below in the description. You could search for it in here if you want to by hand. Uh, it's usually around uh, one uh, point of reference that I always find is this, making chars, whatever this is. I don't actually know. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, we're actually looking for this, Death Party, okay? So again, if for some reason you can't find it, uh, which you probably won't be able to find it just by searching, uh, but you could, you could look for this if you're having trouble. This is, seems to always be here. I'm not really sure. But regardless, you're going to do... Uh, well, anyway, let's get it on our paste, you know, whatever. Uh, control F, Control Shift F, that is. Def Party, of course, not twice. And then search. Now, if you do this, you're going to actually see a bunch of them. I don't really know what these others are referring to, but we are not going to interact with these. What are we looking for is the highest, the lowest number, that is. The lowest number in the Pokemon Storage subscript. Now, um, there's been some differences in later versions, but regardless, what you're looking for is the Def Party. I'm pretty sure it's always going to be in the Pokemon Storage subscript. I don't know if that exists in modern, but I know the previous subscript, you know, this is everything that we've been doing so far has been in Pokemon Storage. But if you're using like Essentials like 17.2 or something like that, the guy has created like different, he's, he's created different such uh, situations. So whatever, don't worry about that. Just find what we're looking for. Go to it. Okay, we already did that. And now we're going to add this block of text, okay? So we want to do that right above it and uh, right below the other. Uh, this is very important, so make sure you're adding it above this, not above define party equals value. You want to define party, um, create a, a break between the previous one and a break between the lower one. It's not really needed, but uh, I guess it's good, uh, you know, it's good posture. And then you're going to copy everything that is down below and make sure it looks like this, copy it into that line there. And that's that. So now we've added a good 50 some lines. And yeah, that's what it does. I, I don't know anything about this. Like I said, I did not make this. Um, so I don't know why or how this works, but I do know it works. And that is all that matters to me. So we have now effectively added the randomizer uh, to the box withdraw feature. So we will click apply. Make sure you click apply. Don't just exit out or whatever. Okay, you have to click apply. Okay. And then you're welcome to hit okay and close it. And then just to prove it works, we will now test it. Save changes. Yes, of course. And we will open the game and it will uh, seemingly work. Hopefully, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, you're not going to see it. So anyway, obviously, uh, it should work if you do it word for word like I did. And I'll just show you the case uh, that, that it is happening that way. But regardless, it's actually pretty straightforward if you follow the tutorial. Uh, let's just make sure. But again, you can go to any box. It doesn't have to be using the debug feature. And uh, let's see. And there it is. Randomize party. So let's see. Make sure it's randomized our party. We remember the team we had previously. 
And now we'll take a look at it, and there you go. So yeah, completely new team. We do actually still have Tapu Finney on our team, so there you go. And Whimsicott as well, that's ironic. So yeah, I have a, probably about 60-some Pokemon in this uh, this save file, and I did actually get two duplicates from the previous team, so that's interesting. Uh, you know, just random, completely random, it should be anyway. But um, yeah, so that's that. So some little uh, closing statements. Uh, from what I could tell, the... Uh, the box is going to get filled. So it, even if you had, so I was originally worried that doing this would be impossible because you you seemingly can't have zero Pokemon. But the way he's done it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's going to take the Pokemon that you have in your party and replace them one by one backwards. And when it replaces them, they're going to go in the box, the first slot available of any box. So for example, if you have all your Pokemon in boxes two and onward, this is a good idea to do this with this because any Pokemon that gets replaced will automatically go in box one. So for example, if you're doing some kind of run where remembering your previous team might be important, that you don't want them to get lost because of the box organization, then just leave box one open. So I was going to find the earliest spots for these six Pokemon. And then it's just going to take any six Pokemon from your boxes and put them in your party, completely random. And like I said, it can actually take ones that are currently in your party and put them back in your party it's just completely random so anyway i think that's everything uh i hope i hope this works for you it should i don't see why it wouldn't but like i said some some real quick caveats uh, pokemon essentials might be different um i don't really know but you should be able to no matter what pokemon essentials you're using you should be able to find what you're looking for by simply doing Control shift f and searching for the things that we search for in this video which are in the description um, otherwise, you're going to return errors. Uh, the game will not launch if you do it wrong. So you'll obviously know you did it wrong, but I'm not sure I could help you with it, frankly. Uh, this is, like I said, made by somebody else, not me, and they told me how to do it. And as I was learning how to do it, I noticed that different uh, games like Pokemon Rejuvenation is uh, structured differently, but it doesn't matter. The scripts are all the same. They're just in different locations. So you just have to find them based on the, the search function and then edit them as is appropriate. So anyway, I think that's everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, good luck. And I hope this is fun for you guys. This is something that I'm really, uh, really interested in trying out. Um, you know, it's just, it's always fun to keep your team fresh. That's one of the things that I love about Pokemon in general. So a lot of options and it's fun to have a unique team every time. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.